Hey buddies, Sunnuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are trapped in the Lost Cities. We have ventured here unprepared. We failed to properly set our spawn. We either forgot to, didn't bother, or it bugged out. And we died. We don't know where our death loot is. We don't know where our waystone home is. We don't know where we are. And we are now in a position where we have to escape the Lost Cities starting from scratch. I know a few people have got stuck in this situation, and I know a few people who got stuck in this situation for six or eight hours. Uh, it can be really tough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys my method for getting out of here. Uh, we're going to go through it all in one. I probably speed up some parts for you so the video is not too long. But I want to talk about how many deaths it's going to take, how long it's going to take to get me out of here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Before I start off, having a couple of things would be really useful. Firstly, having your stealth skills maxed out will be really, really useful. And also having your uh, flint harvesting plus treasure hunting might be useful as well. So, we have a random spawn. Um, we're not trying to do this in one life or, or anything like that. We, we probably will die a number of occasions. It's about number of deaths and time to escape and uh, the mentality behind it so we can break in here we can check a couple of these it looks like i've broken this so i may have actually unless they just spawned broken although looking at this they probably just spawned broken to be honest you know you can obviously you know try and identify things if you ad identify something that you think was near where you died you can obviously then maybe grab your own loot and manage to get out that way all right so we're getting a decent number of blocks here and some various random things and what we're looking for is ingredients that will allow us to escape the lost city now obviously if we find ingredients for a bed what we can do is we can set our spawn and at least try and save some of the loot that we are managing to get however getting an axe might be slightly difficult We would obviously just need to find some gravel. And I actually normally when doing it don't end up getting myself a bed. By any means. Now uh, you do also need night time to be able to set your spawn here. So to be honest it's probably not that viable of a strategy. Unless you happen to end up being in night. Within a, in a position where we've got a bed. So we've got our flint there. We do need a standard stone or a cobblestone to smash it on, and I don't feel like I find those very often, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Oh, a Manducator got us. Okay, so a Manducator got us. They can go invisible. Um, so I, pff, I had no idea it was there. Invisible Manducator ended up clapping our booties there. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna let home skill here kill us. Defiled lands in this area. We're gonna we're gonna write that one off. And now we're in the middle of a forest. Okay. Hmm. Now even these li little guys can one shot you. If they hit you in the head or chest. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is nice. So these rooms spawn with two chests that you can get. Uh, and there's not actually a spawner in this room with them. Oh, we got a ring of the elves. Pfft, okay, fun, funny, funny, funny. Uh, what does that give us? Reduced attack damage. And sneaking while using a bow. So that's actually not going to help us at all. It's another one of those rooms. So these are good good rooms to look out for. Uh, the one that's on the other side of this building. Because they have double chests. And I just told you why, but... Double chests. And no spawners in the room with them. If we break these, we should be able to hop, off, hop over here. Yeah, lovely. We got our two chests. Golden apple might help us survive if we get in a sticky situation. Uh, let's put that there, and our blocks here. Nothing else particularly useful there, though. A little bit of food. 
in case we survive long enough to need to eat. Mostly what we're trying to do is loot these chests. Okay, this is that's a good one for us. That's quite nice for us, actually. So what we're going to do here... We don't have everything we need. We're going to keep, keep going along this process. I'd like to avoid going inside if possible. And pretty much going up or down floors is going to be a really bad idea. Because you're likely to find mobs waiting for you up or down. Oh, we've pulled an Enderman. We're fucked. GG's to our loot that we have. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Next round. There's a chest there. I can probably grab this without getting attacked. I can get this one as well. Interesting. Alright, so we've got a pearl. Uh, we got, we got a couple of pearls. That's nice. We can use that to escape if we need to. We've got a bow. Okay. And we've got an axe. So this is actually quite nice for us here. Got a little bit of gold. We've got some black apples as well. Can't remember what these do, but they give you a nice buff. All right. We have a bow now, so we could actually do some damage. As long as we don't have fear, which stops us using right click. We can actually pull off some damage here. I don't think that can get up. So I'll leave that be. There's one of those water rooms. Anything on the other side? Nope. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on here. See anything on this floor? What do you think? Can I kill this guy? Uh, seems like a no. Not even really sure what happened to me there. All right, fine. We'll just leave that. Got a chest here. Perfect. Oops. This is what we need. Okay, fantastic. Now we be quick. And we, uh, and we really, really hope that we don't get jumped here. In fact, I think down here might be a fairly safe place. There's not going to be much spawning down here, if anything at all. Uh, and we got multiple axes there, actually. That's good. Doesn't really matter. We only need one, but still getting just shows that getting an axe isn't that unlikely from chests. Uh, create a crafting station. We even may pull a couple of useful runes out of this as well. Um, can do we have enough to make a warp scroll? That's the question. Yes, perfect. There we go. And happy days. We are home, and we've even left with a couple of crafting runes, which might actually be useful items. That wasn't too much trouble. That took us nine and a half minutes, took us a few deaths, um, and yeah, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. So essentially, what you're looking for is the ability to make a scroll, a warp scroll to get out of there. You can, of course, make a grave scroll as well. If you ended up making a grave scroll with these ingredients, that'll teleport you to where you died. You can try and then pick up your loot and then GTFO real quick. Um, so that's an alternate option as well. But essentially, you're running around trying to get a way scroll, a warp scroll, or a grave scroll. And uh, and that's how you do that. Took us, took us quite a quick amount of time and uh, only a few deaths. So as long as you're playing a little bit carefully and, and uh, you know, there you go. It's actually not that hard. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day except Monday and Friday. I usually take for editing. I've also run a 2.9 SMP server from my Twitch channel. So if you wanted to get on that, you'd have to jump on the tw channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. Earn yourself some channel points. It's 3,000 channel points to get on the whitelist. 
And then once you've redeemed the whitelist through channel points, you'll be able to join us. Alrighty, guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.